Welcome inside the Vancouver Canucks locker room here at Rogers Arena. Joey Kenwood with you following tonight's Canucks 2-1 home ice victory over the visiting New York Rangers. Canucks rack up their four-game homestand with back-to-back -back victories. And we head to the game-winning goal scorer tonight, Daniel Sedin, whose team was in a real dogfight, it seemed. Maybe not the start you were hoping for tonight against the Rangers, but certainly a third period I know you were expecting your group to have. Yeah, we got better as the game uh, went along. I think first, like you said, it wasn't that great, but I mean, we got our shot today, but I don't feel like they have a, the great A chances that we've been giving up early in the season. So uh, I thought after, after the first, we played a, a lot better. No shortage of talking points in that third period. Let's talk about how you got things going on the power play with a five on three. Yeah, uh, nice to see Eddie uh, score there. I think uh, that's, a, that's a key goal. I get the lead there. Uh, after that, I thought we played real well. Uh, I know they get the penalty shot and, and score, but uh, we came right back and, and uh, got the got the second one. Tell us about your goal. It was pretty good hand-eye coordination after a pretty good heads-up slap pass from Edler. Great pass by Eddie. Uh, those are the kind of plays he can make, and, and today he made them. Uh, fortunate to, to tip it in. I think it was a pretty tough angle, but uh, it was nice to see him. With the way the first two periods went, did you feel like it was going to have to be special teams to turn things in the third? Yeah, they're good. they well defensively. I mean. Uh, so it's, a, it's a good team over there for sure. Uh, they didn't, didn't give up the whole lot, but at the same time, we, we didn't give up the whole lot either, I thought, uh, especially after the first. I thought we played a lot better in the second and the third, and, and uh, yeah, it was a nice win for us. Thoughts of assistant captain Daniel Sedin, who netted the game winning goal today in Vancouver's 2 1 home ice victory over the New York Rangers. We go to the other goal scorer today for Vancouver, Alex Edler. Was uh, a frantic and eventful third period. Just maybe tell us how important it was that your team took advantage of special teams in the final frame. Yeah, I mean, that's always important. We talk about that every day. Uh, you know, when you win the special, special team games, you usually come out on top. Five on three, it's just the second time your team has scored with two extra skaters on the ice. Maybe talk us through it. Uh, I think we had good uh, movement. Uh, uh, good job in front, definitely. Uh, and you, know, you got to get shots on the net, and you're gonna you be there for rebounds. How big was the pushback after their penalty shot tying goal? Uh, yeah, it was nice to to get it back right away for sure. Uh, another good play by the Twins in 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 their end. So yeah. Alex, obviously you guys know it's a dangerous game, but when you see something like that happen to a fellow Blue Liner, is it difficult to continue? Uh, I mean, you just hope he's okay. Uh, I didn't even have time to check check up on him, but uh, those are things that are, yeah, like you say, very scary, and uh, it's it's awful to see a, a guy go down like that. What does this do for your team moving forward? You've finished off playing at home before Christmas, now embarking on a very difficult six-game road trip. Yeah, like, uh, it's it's uh, it's going to be a hard road trip for sure, and uh, uh, we got to make sure we battle hard. I think we battled hard today. Uh, I think uh, play better as a, as a as a team, and that's uh, what we got to keep keep on doing. Defenseman Alex Adler joining us following a 2-1 victory. He had a goal and an assist in the two-point performance here against the New York Rangers. Let's catch up with forward Adam Cracknell following tonight's victory for the Canucks. We may be doubting ourselves a little bit, but we worked out of it, and it's a good feeling right now that we have in the room. And uh, go Going on this road trip, it's going to be very important to get some points here. It might be a little early, but can you feel like you're starting to turn in a corner here? Well, I think we just turned a corner the, after we lost a couple there, and we felt like... Uh, you know, things weren't going our way. Um, we're making plays now. We're more confident. We're being more simple and more direct with the puck. So when we do that, we play with our speed and we're not turning pucks over and letting teams come back, come at us three on one, three on two. So um, we're more predictable to each other right now and guys are guys are gelling and uh, we're getting results right now. Were you seeing a third period like that with so much that was going on and a lot of highs and a few lows that your team is able to stay composed? Yeah, I think so. Uh, it was important. Nice to see our power play get one there. That was a nice goal to get us going. And, you know, they had a couple other chances. And, you know, they get the, the penalty shot goal, and we responded right after. Well, Daniel's line did, but uh, that's huge. Guys contribute all over. There's a lot of chances on both ends of the ice, but our, our guys battled hard blocking shots like Hammer did there. So, um, it's just we're doing all the right things right now, and the guys are getting confidence, and it's, it's nothing flashy, but we're doing the, we're doing what we need to do to take the win games. The PK was, was great tonight, and it's been good the last two or three games, right? Yeah, it, it, we, 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 we set a goal for ourselves a few games ago, and we, we, we want to reach that, and if not, be better than the, the goal we set for ourselves. So um, we take pride in that. If guys take penalties. You want to bail your teammate out, and that's that's what it's all about. And uh, we, we're, getting, we're doing what we need to do, and uh, right now our special teams are winning us games as well. How are you feeling? So, Personally, I think this is your 24th game. I think tonight, and that's probably about the most you've played in a season in the NHL. How are you? Yeah. How are you 
Oh, you must I, be enjoying this. Oh, I, I, you definitely enjoy every day when you're in NHL. Um, you can't take anything granted, that's for sure. There's always guys coming up behind you, so uh, you definitely want to enjoy it. But at the same time, we push ourselves as line mates. And, uh, I think the way we've been playing the last few games, we're, we're, we're more on the same page. We're not running around as much. We're, we're, we have more structure, and we're creating offense. And, uh, you know, we might not be the flashiest guys out there, but we're doing it the, the way that we're supposed to do it and getting to the net pucks and shots. So, uh, the way our line plays defensively, we, we want to be in and out as quick as possible and uh, get on the forecheck, and that's where we get our results from. How much did you look forward to a road trip? Last time you had a lengthy swing away from Vancouver, you didn't get the results. But do you feel that maybe you got a little bit more confidence about this group when you head into Chicago on Sunday? Yeah, definitely. I mean, after you win a couple of games, guys are on highs right now, and uh, we get a couple of days of rest and uh, regroup here. And, uh, you know, we're going into Chicago. We we know what we did. We uh, we beat them pretty good here and had a, had a really good game. That was one of the games we keep looking back on that we have to play like that. And uh, going into Chicago, it's always a tough barn to play in. Uh, they have a great team, so it's it's going to be a great test for us to go on the road here and uh, establish our, uh, what our team can do. Post game comments of forward Adam Cracknell following tonight's 2-1 Canucks victory over the New York Rangers. Stay with us. We'll hear from goaltender Ryan Miller in a matter of moments. He was a big factor tonight in the Canucks. Home ice victory here against the Broad Street, Broadway Blue Shirts. Uh, no, happy to be on the winning side of that period. Uh, lots of uh, penalties causing chances, so uh, entertaining for the fans, I'm sure. Uh, I thought our battle level was high, though, and I think that's probably why we uh, deserved to uh, to get out of it. Lots of hockey nets to play, though. Does this team feel like it's turning the corner these last couple of games? I hope so. I mean, really, when I looked at our game, I, th I saw just little things that led to losses. You can clean up little things when you have good effort uh, and you have battle. Uh, you know, we got our feet moving after the first period and we started to slowly, you know, get some chances against a good team. And, and I thought third period battle level was really high. Response after uh, penalty shot goal against was amazing. Uh, you could tell the bench was, uh, you know, fired up about the call, but not so much that they're going to go off their game. It was an appropriate response to go out and. And, and really, you know, have a good shift, and you know, get, they got rewarded for it. And uh, you know, with that to be the game-winning goal, uh, that's huge. Did you see the explanation from you on that call? I don't have time to talk to the ref about it. The, the captains would have had to ask them. I just assumed that he thought our guy covered in the crease. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how the puck ended up back outside the crease. Kind of hit somebody, then hit off my foot, and kind of laid there. Uh, However, it got, if it got pulled back and that's what he's calling, uh, I could see that. But uh, if it's outside the crease, you got to be pretty, you got to be pretty sure it's in the crease for a penalty shot, in my opinion. It, uh, probably uh, if it if it just went back into the pile and uh, and we end up on it, I, I think Tanev was the lowest at, the, at first. He was not not on it. Uh, Edler had a chance maybe to cover it. I, I'm not sure. You guys. Uh, you might want to ask the captains or, or Willie or anybody. You might have been at your best early in this game when there was not a great start for the group in front of you. Can you talk about the storm you maybe had to weather in the first period and a half from New York? Well, there, 
really, really good team. They move the puck low to high in the zone, and they move it east-west uh, after they get you kind of drawn in. Uh, their D are switching sides, their, their D are up and, and back, and uh, you know that creates uh, some movement within our coverage. And you just have to be ready to kind of hunker down in battle. And uh, kind of knew from watching them a little bit uh, since they're out east, we can see them a little bit, and then. By reputation, you know they're going to move that puck, and they got some guys who can really make things happen. So, you know, I, I was just trying to be uh, ready for that, and uh, you, know, you know, happy to get out of there and uh, zero zero. Do you have to refocus after a guy like Dan goes down with a pretty scary injury? Yeah, we're thinking about him for sure, um, especially though the play happened. Uh, you know, he's he's sacrificing his body to make a play uh, defensively and. Uh, whether the puck got away from the guy or I got an edge, uh, you know, I don't think he uh, laid off it too much. That was heavy, and uh, you know, hopefully he's going to be okay. Uh, he's been skating really well. He's been playing good hockey, and uh, he's a good leader. So, you know, thinking about him right now. Hopefully he's going to be all right. Ryan, the pad save on Lindbergh in the third period when you guys are up two one. Did you get a good read on that play? Uh, is that backside? Yeah, I think he kind of missed his his shot a little bit, but you know, happy to be there and um, you know, uh, you know, just things eventually work out for you. We've had a lot of third periods where it hasn't worked out, even though the effort's been there. And uh, you know, just happy to you know get this one. Post game comments of netminder Ryan Miller, who tonight stopped 32 of 33 Ranger shots. The only one that beat him was on a third period penalty shot by Rangers blue liner Dan Boyle. That was a controversial call. You, if in case you didn't see it, you'll see it again here in our highlight reel. After that, though, Vancouver responded with as good a bump up shift as they've had in a long time. Daniel Sedin on a beautiful redirect on a slap pass from Alexander Edler winds up netting what proves to be the game winning goal tonight and Edler finishes his night off with a two point performance. He scored the opening goal early in the third on a five on three man advantage. It's his sixth goal of the year and in the process Alex Edler moves into sole possession of second place all time in Canucks history as far as power play goals by a defenseman are concerned. The only player to catch now is Sammy Sallow who holds the club record for power play goals by a blue liner. We will hopefully have an update from head coach Willie Desjardins in a matter of minutes on the status of Dan Hamhuis. He left this game after taking a shot in the face prior to the end of tonight's game. Stay with us. We'll hear from Willie in a matter of moments. But right now, we'll look back at the highlights from tonight's 2-1 Canucks victory here at Rogers Arena against the New York Rangers. teams this year had a nine game winning streak and went more than a month at one point without a regulation loss. Here's Lindbergh and now a backhander by Kreider is stopped and the rebound cleared by Derek Dorsett. Matt Bartkowski ahead to Brandon Prust up the middle towards the goal and, and now Hutton check but gets the puck to Prust and here comes Derek Dorsett. Gets around McElrath, in on goal, he shoots. Lundquist the save, and Prust couldn't get to the rebound. Now to the corner. Pass back, McDonough. Oh, tipped off the goal post by Girardi. And the puck goes out of play. Puck winds up in the corner. Biega has it, can't get it out past Hayes. Thrown across, Zuccarello centers. Yando couldn't shoot it, and then it was blocked by McCann. Hayes had the chance. I don't think McCann even saw it, but it hit him in the back of the leg. Back to Edler. 20 seconds to go in the two-man advantage. Henrik Sedin. Daniel Sedin. Edler shoots. Scores! <laughs> Alain Vigneault clapping his hands towards the officials as the Canucks score on the two-man advantage, and it's 1-0. And a rare occasion where the teams are both at full strength here. Puck at the side, Miller leaves the pad down, now they jam away, he's got his glove on it, I think. Referee hasn't blown the whistle, now he does. And it looks like he's calling a penalty shot for the puck being covered by Chris Tanev. What else could happen this period? <laughs> Dan Boyle's gonna take it. 
Chris Kreider's taken two. He's 0 for 2. Rick Nash is 0 for 1. And Dan Boyle, the third penalty shot of his career. He's 0 for 3 against Ryan Miller, who stopped 17 of 20. Boyle scores. A deep to the forehand. And this strange third period continues with the Rangers tying the game at one. McDonough chips it to the side. Nash there couldn't move the puck out. Hansen takes a hit, but the Canucks have the puck. Edler down for Daniel scores. He just keeps getting it done at the age of 35. Daniel Sedin makes it 2-1 Vancouver.
Maybe before we talk about the game, do you have an update on Dan Hamus's condition right now? Yeah, he uh, he left. He, he took the shot in the mouth, uh, just on the the upper part of his mouth, and uh, lost some teeth. And, and I would assume it might have broke, probably broke his jaw up there. Um, but he was his wife was with him when he left, and you know he was fine. He, he'll probably spend the night in the hospital, but everything's fine. When you're on the bench and your players are in the moment, what's going through your mind when you see something so scary like that? I think that's the worst thing that could ever happen to a coach. If, you know, if you ever had a guy get hurt, like real serious when you're there. And, you know, that is serious, but it's, you know, it's not life-threatening. And But you don't know that when you take the shot. You just know he took it up high. You know, you always worry about the eyes. And so it uh, it's scary, uh, um, you know, and it's like, that's a, it's a hard thing to take like that. You know, you'll... He'll suffer with that for a little while. A third period had a little bit of everything for your club to be involved in in both ends of the ice. How did you feel your team handled the highs and lows in the, the final 20? I thought we were good. Um, you know, I thought we, we stayed with it. Um, you know, after they scored, I thought we came right back and got one, and that's, that's a real good sign. You know, we, we, we did a good job with that in the Buffalo game, too, where, you know, some calls maybe went against us, um, and we stayed with it. But, uh, um, you know, it was a it was a hard fought game. They have a they have a good team. Like they have a lot of speed. Did you get an explanation on the penalty shot? Uh, I, I, and who I, might have yeah. possibly covered it? I didn't get an explanation, and I couldn't see it from where I was at. Um, you know, it uh, it was off to the side, and and um, you know, I was confident that Millsy was going to make the save on it. Like he's he's a pretty good goaltender on breakaways and shootouts. Your penalty kill has been better in recent games. It was really good tonight. Uh, what's been the difference? Do you think? Um, Gully's done a good job with it. He, you know, he always has, and, and you know, they, they just that span there where we were just breaking down like latent kills and little things. And you know, I think he we went into a bit of a segment. He put guys on a segment where you know we we're looking to get a certain number of kills and just to give them something to focus on instead of worrying about every game where we didn't have to feel we had to have every single kill and maybe took the pressure off the guys a little bit, but. Uh, for whatever they've, you know, the kills have been good in the last four games. What about Ryan's play early? They were buzzing in the first period into the second, just the play of your goalie early to keep you guys in it. He, you know, he talked. He's, he's, you know, a big key to our team, and, and he's been good. Like every game he's played good. Like there, some games we just give up too much. We've given up too many quality chances, but um, we're a little bit better tonight later in the game early, though. He made some huge saves for us, and uh, we just need that. Like that's what we need to to kind of get us going some days. Willie, given the way the first two periods went, how big is this victory for your team heading on the road? It's big uh, whenever you play a team like the Rangers. The Rangers, have, you know, they have a good team just with their speed. So for us to go on the road with, you know, with a couple wins help because it's so hard to win in wherever you go. Uh, but I think it should give us a little bit of confidence again that, um, you know, we, when we play hard, we have a chance to win. Those first two periods here, fourth line, the line that's labeled the fourth line anyway was your best offensive line. How much offense do you expect them to contribute? Um, I, I don't, that's not their role. Uh, that's a bonus if they give us that. Um, we want to play hard. We want to play physical. We want them to be good defensively. But it's, it's funny, if you just do your job and you, and you play and you're honest, you'll get lots of chances in this league. And sometimes it's, when you cheat and you try too hard to create the offense, it won't come. So uh, they've just played honest hockey, and uh, they've got rewarded for it. You've played them a lot lately, and you had them out there against Nash tonight. Um, over the past couple of weeks, has the confidence that you've had in them increased? Yeah, it has. Um, like, they, you know, all, all three guys are veterans. You know, Kraken maybe hasn't played as much in the league, but he's he's been around the league for a number of years. So... Uh, they understand both sides, but they'll play hard. They'll play physical, and you know, but nobody really wants to play against a line like that. Like a lot of the, the top offensive guys, just they just don't want to play guys like that all night long. So uh, they are a pretty good match for us against top lines. When they can win those matchups and win those shifts, do you, do you think it has gives the rest of the lineup some momentum? Uh, it helps for sure. Um, you know, like a. Uh, it takes some pressure off the other lines. Like, you know, when I can start him in an RD zone or start him against big lines, and it just takes pressure off other lines. Was that one of the best games you've seen Alex Edler play this season? Yeah, he played hard. Uh, you know, he, he's good in those physical games. When he gets physical, I think it just raises his level. Like, he, 
I don't know for whatever reason he gets into it and he gets everything going. So um, he, he he played into it tonight like he was going and he was jumping up. He had a number of real good chances too to score. Thank you.